Hello everyone, I am Boy of the Cones. And I am Carousel Kid. And today we are going to be doing all the pointless, major, quote unquote, changes made to the current version, which was 1993 to the present, of the Carousel Progress. We do want to note that there were a lot of small changes made throughout 1993 to the present, although if we touched on every single one of those, this video could be hours long because there are so many. So when we mean major, we're talking about things that are noticeable to regular guests, not things like small props that are moved on a table or such, things that a normal guest would notice. So with that, I'm going to hand it off to Carousel Kid to start with load. So starting with load here, you can first see this picture of the curtain in load. So uh, what I'm mainly going to be touching on in load is the lighting, uh, mainly the lighting on the gear. So um, if we move to the next picture, you can see the gear with this um, lighting on it here. Now they did change the lights on the gear in 2013. And if we move on to the next picture here, we can see the new lights on the curtain. Now the issue that we have with this is that the what we call the OG lights or the original lights from 1993 to 2013, they turned off and on in unload. So when the curtain was down, as you can see, they were off. There was no light on the curtain. And then when the curtain turned on and it pulled up, the lights would turn on. Now, if we switch to the next picture, which is current day, you can see that the curtains are down and the light is on. And this doesn't look as professional and it takes away from the effect of the curtain lifting and the light turning on. So the next picture here gives an example of what it looks like with the lights on on the current gear and on the current gear. And then moving on, we can see this is where the original lights were housed, these four boxes in the back. Now, if we move on to the next picture, which we can see the lights a bit more clearly, we can see that these lights worked. They were regular white lights, and they had a plastic over the front for the color. So the first one is green, the second one is red, and the last one is blue. Now, there is a box with a missing light in it, and at some point, Disney did pull this light out. And we can't say for sure why or exactly when they did, but they did leave the other three. And uh, just to add, I do want to add that um, the the housing for the light that we have now is actually on the stage in front of the gear. You can see that little box down there that houses the LEDs. So moving on to Act 1, I will hand it over to Boy of the Cones. All right, as I was editing this, I just want to include a quick clip of load then versus load now. Welcome to Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Uh, you're in for a real treat. The carousel of progress. Welcome to Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Uh, you're in for a real treat. The All right, so continuing on with Act One, the first thing I want to point out is the designs on John's chair. Um, we'll, we're going to mention this throughout the video, but there are certain things we don't know the year of because qual camera quality is nowhere near as good how it used how it is now. So here you can kind of see it's some sort of leaves flower pattern. And then when you go on to this one, oops, you can clearly tell that those are nowhere near the previous ones. And then again, we don't know exactly what year. This one was actually taken in 2012, this photo. And then here we are today, again, different design as the last one. Uh, somewhat back to the floral. Uh, next thing I want to point out is the rug and the shoes. So this is how it was from 93, no, okay, the shoes were like this from 93 until 2013 when they went to film the Tomorrowland movie. In 2013 at the very end they changed these shoes and this rug, clearly different, you can see was changed, this was changed in like 2017 I believe. Again, not 100% sure because a lot of the angles of cameras, but I believe this was 2017. All right, now I'm going to move on to probably the most notable change in Act 1, and that is the uh, tablecloth. So here, this is how it looked from 93 until 05 slash 06. You can see this mostly solid green pattern. I say mostly because it does have checkers, but it was not visible to the audience. In 2005 slash 2006, I'll reference that update a lot, or we both will, because 
again, there's only one video from five and a few, and only one full one from six, so we can't tell exactly when, because they're almost a year apart. Anyways, this was changed to this green one. Clearly different pattern. Uh, in 2013, again, the Tomorrowland film, they changed this to the red one with the fringe. This was actually what we believe was the original one. If you go and look at the testing Walt Disney did, it was, this is how it was. We don't know why they didn't keep it like this, because it was the original. Something else I want to point out is his jacket while we're right here. Just keep in mind the jacket, and I'll get back to it after this. So here you have this, and this now. And here we are at the final current table. Clearly different, much darker red, no fringe at the bottom compared to this. Another thing I like, I said, his jacket. This change was just recently made in February of 2020. This is actually the same jacket here. It just has faded over time. Just You can see how this one, same one. But this is 2004, this is 2012. In 2013, again, when they filmed the Tomorrowland movie, they put this jacket on. Clearly can tell it's not the same because this is uh, solid. Here it's like checkered and it sticks out. This change was made because the original jacket, how it looked, again, it was this, but before it faded over the years, this was a solid dark green. But we are glad the original jacket has returned. All right, this is another change that's noticeable, but not necessarily pointless. Uh, you can see the knob here in this wood that we have circled is much different than it is here. But that's because when you look at this photo, how rotted this table is, we honestly believe that this entire table is redone. That's what we believe. Again, sometime most likely, actually no, this was done in 2013 sometime afterwards. This picture, a lot of our onstage pictures, like this one, sorry, this one, and this one were taken by who, so credit to him. But you can see that's different there. Uh, moving on to Act 2, we have the first thing I want to point out are, is the side chair. The side chair here is not there yet. In 2000, it was added. Next, I want to point out another small one, which are the curtains. Uh, again, from 93 to the 05, 06 update, and it was changed to these. Small, but noticeable. All right, this is where it starts getting a little crazy. Um, we're going to point out the uh, drink table here. So here you can see, I guess you want to call it like a pitcher, much like more spheric rather than a cylinder. This was here from 93 until 05. Sorry for the poor quality here, but this is the only one that wasn't removed. For a very short time in 05, but enough to be in two videos, this porcelain um, jug, I guess you can say, was here. Little fun fact, this is now sits with Uncle Orville, next to him. And in 2006, or 05 again, whenever that second update was, they moved, uh, they got rid of the circular, sorry, spheric ones, put this one here. In 2008, they moved it in front of John, but flipping it. And then in 2010, they flipped it back to how it is now. And it's a little fun fact again, before the porcelain one was there with Orville, this glass and that one, we don't know if it's the same one or that, but the main glass is sitting next to Orville. All right, now for probably the biggest change in Act 2. Uh, what I want you to also pay attention to the um, mesh in front of him and the tablecloth. But the important change here is the rug. There are a total of six different rugs in Act 2 over the 93 to present. So this one here, uh, only clear one we can get of this picture. Notice the white stripes. This was here from 1993 till sometime between 404 where these pictures were taken here. Again, notice how the f um, mesh is gone in front of him. Keep in mind the tablecloth again. They'll be different in the next one. Uh, notice here, no more white lines. And notice how this is all red through here without any gold embroidering. And sometime in six or seven, again, don't know because video quality, this was changed. Um, now notice all the gold outlining on it. and uh, different pattern there. Let's go back to compare that. And no fringe on the outside. And then again, the tablecloth, different here. This was again changed in the 05 slash 06 update. Now it, it takes a complete turn. In 2013, the rug was completely changed into this big circular round rug. 
In 2015 it was changed again, but now a smaller one. I'll just do a comparison so you guys can see that. Look how far over that goes and notice the stripes. Different here. And then in 2017 they changed it again, with it being bigger than the previous one, and a different pattern. Uh, another thing I want to point out, again, you would only notice this if you watch hours of this and been on it for hours. In 2015, they changed the lighting of it. You can kind of see it. It's apparent in the shadow here, of the vacuum. They changed the lighting of the show. It is now much darker. This, what we believe, was to represent how it actually was in the 20s. But again, not necessarily... It was it's pointless, but it's not necessarily pointless. Another thing while I'm editing this video that Carousel Kid pointed out to me, and I found this before, but I we for completely forgot about it over the last week, is the American flag in Act 2. This was taken backstage, and I want to point out the yellow fringe on here. And again, this was sometime changed between 05 and 06 within that update. And although this isn't backstage, you can clearly tell there is nothing on that flag. Again, I just found this now. Glad we pointed it out before it was too late. All right, handing the torch back over to Carousel Kid. We're moving on to Act 3. All right, so I think you as well can agree that Act 3, out of all the scenes, is probably the one with the least unnecessary changes yeah, over the years. for sure. Very minimum. So uh, we'll start with this pumpkin on the table here. Now, this uh, pumpkin is very specific to the Gene Shepard version. Uh, this was not here in any other version of the show. And... From 1993 to 2014, this pumpkin was on the table. It has now moved on top of the fridge here, where you can see it next to this plant. Uh, it's a lot more hidden on top of the fridge, definitely a lot harder to see during the show than when it was on the table. Um, this is an unnecessary change because we, again, don't know why they would have done this. Um, but uh, they definitely moved it from the table to on top of the fridge. Uh, like I said, table, um, 1993 to 2014, and then fridge, 2014 to present. That would be cool to see it move back one day, but that probably won't happen. Uh, moving on to the rug on the floor. Uh, this rug here is what we had from 1993 to 2015, and they changed that to this rug, which is 2015 to present. This rug has also moved around the floor a lot, but that counts as more of the minor changes. Uh, that's not really something noticeable. Um, but the rug itself has changed. Um, here, this is where it does get a bit more complicated. And this is probably the biggest overall change for Act 3. And that would be John's scarf. So if we look here, you can see this first scarf has all these little dots on it. And this first scarf was from 1993 to sometime around 2004. So if we flip to the next picture here, you can see that this scarf no longer has the dots on it and it has all these different sort of designs on it. You can't exactly see what they are, um, but it is definitely not the one from the last picture. Now this was from sometime around 2004 um, and they changed this. Um, sometime in either 2009 or 2010. Again, this is another one of those things where we can't quite say for sure because of video quality. It's hard, It's really hard to see the design on this scarf in some videos, but this was definitely a change made from uh, 2009 to 2010. Now, this has the dots on it. We do believe that they... This is the original that was put back on. So if we flip back to the very first one, you can see this has the dots on it. Um, and then flipping back to the one that we were just looking at from this one has the dots on it again. So that was something that they put back. Um, next, we are moving on to this one here. This is the current one. Now this change was made in 2014. And uh, like I said, this is current. Um, this is the one that you will see today if you go ride. Uh, another thing to notice in this picture is these leaves here that are on the right-hand side of him. These were added in 2017 for no apparent reason. Um, there's also some kind of little white statue or some sort of thing um, behind the leaves. I, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Unfortunately, can't. again, the yeah, angles can't are see really hard picture. to get. But that was, it was covered now by the leaves. So Yeah. Um, but yeah, they threw the leaves in there for no reason, and that about does it for Act 3. Alright, so moving on to Act 4, 
Um, as I mentioned in the beginning, there are a lot of minor changes that we're not going to cover in this video, because if we did, like I said, this video would be ours, and Act 4 is definitely one of the biggest for minor changes. I mean, if you look on the side wall, there's all those props have been moved, um, even on the, the, the pin board. There's so many different things that have changed in Act 4, but we're um, looking at more major things that would be noticed by guests. So kicking this off, um, we're starting with one that applies for both Grandma here and Jimmy in Act 4. So if you look at her hand, you can see this purple glove. Um, that was later changed to a light blue glove, as we can see here in this picture. This is another one of those things where we can't quite say the year because this is very hard to see in uh, videos because of low video quality. You can't quite see the color. Um, so unfortunately, we can't tell the year on that, but you can definitely see the purple to light blue. Moving on in Act 4, we are moving to Jimmy here, and we are going to be talking about the shirt that he's wearing, or I could say the sweater. So this here, you can clearly see that he has this little pen pocket right here on this one. Uh, if we move on to the current one, you can see that that pen pocket is no longer there. And uh, in this one, he it's hard to see, but he also has the blue glove on here. All right, so now we're going to take a look at John in Act 4 here, and mainly his apron and his sweater. Uh, this has changed seven times since 1993, and out of any other uh, animatronic in the show, he has the most changes to his costuming here. Uh, for why, we can't say, uh, but that is why we are putting it in with unnecessary changes. So starting off here, we have uh, this apron and sweater, which is the original from 1993, and this change sometime between 2000 and 2004, which brings us to this next one over here. So looking at this one, you can see a different design on the sweater and uh, a different apron. And now I know it's hard to say with the apron, but the reason you can clearly tell that this is a different apron is apron is because of that tiny green spot in between these top two flowers here. Because uh, if we flip back to the last one, you can see that that is not visible at all here. It is like top two flowers are touching each other completely but if we look back to the ne uh, the next one you can see that tiny little green spot that clearly shows a different apron and as for the sweater design this also does look a bit similar but if you look at this uh, design here on the top you can see that it has like this kind of black line inside of it almost and if we flip back to the first one here you can see that it has white uh, where that line is. So definitely a different sweater and a different apron. Uh, so this one here um, was from, this change was made to this one from sometime between 2000 and 2004. And this lasted until 2006, which brings us to our next one. This one here um, was added in 2006, and this lasted until 2008. Now this here is, you can clearly see a difference with not only the sweater, but also the apron. So starting with the sweater, you can see that a lot of the designs that were along the top before are different. And uh, overall, just these other designs that are on the sweater are uh, not at all the same compared to the last one. Uh, now looking at the apron, you can see that these top two flowers are literally not touching at all. There is a clear green line that just goes right up between them. They are no longer touching at all. Um, and his uh, the V shape on his neck here is bigger. You can see more of the white shirt. That could be because of the way the um, sweater was adjusted on him. Um, but that definitely does uh, lay into the sweater itself. So moving on to the next one, we have this one here, which was changed in the end of 2008 and lasted to the first part of 2010. Um, this one here, you may recognize from a little while before, because this one here was the one from sometime between 2000 and 2004 and the one that lasted till 2006. So they actually brought that one back. So if we move on to the next picture, they actually brought this one back here um, and put it back on him in uh, the end of 2008. Um, and then in the first part of 2010, moving on. So this sweater here is the same one. Uh, you just want to notice that the zipper is further up now because you can't see as much of the white. 
but if we do look back um, it definitely is the same one so this one here uh, like I said, lasted until 2016, which brings us to the final one on our list, which is this one. This one was added in 2016 and is the present one that we have today. You can see a different um, sweater design. You can see the blue inside of the collar up here. Um, and you can see a different design on the apron. Although it's hard to tell, you can clearly see that... Uh, this apron here is different from this one. So that finally brings us to the end of all seven changes that were made to John. So we're, next we're going to move on to the oven. So the oven here, um, we're gonna be mainly focusing on the top oven door. If we flip to the next picture, you can see that it has a lot more chrome on it than the previous one. Now, I can't say for sure whether they added chrome onto the old door or they put a new door on entirely. Um, but either way, this is a very noticeable change uh, compared to what it was before. Finally, for Act 4, we're going to be taking a look at the TVs. Um, this isn't exactly an unnecessary change because uh, the TVs were changed to make Act 4 seem more modern. Um, because it would look a little outdated if we still had a box TV in Act 4 today. Um, so this first TV here is the original um, and the smallest. This is the TV from 1993 and they changed this one out sometime between 2000 and 2003. But before we move forward, something else to take note of here um, is the speaker. So if you look on the right hand side, you can see there's this one uh, speaker standing over here. And if you look on the left hand side, there is nothing there. And that is because the speaker on the left hand side back then was behind Patricia. It was directly behind Patricia uh, where she sits in her chair. And so when we move to the next one, you can see that they added that left speaker back and put it next to the TV. Personally, I think it looks better there next to the TV along with the right speaker. Um, but now focusing on the TV. We are with this TV here. You can clearly see it has the gray border on it and it is slightly bigger. Uh, this TV that they added was between 2000 and 2003. And uh, they finally got rid of this TV in 2009 and added the flat screen TV, which we all know today. Um, speakers stayed in the same spot and we got the flat screen and the table that the TV rests on has not changed. Uh, so with that, that brings us to the end of the major changes on Act 4, again, not counting the minor ones. So I'd like to hand it over to Boyd of the Cones, who will talk about the lighting in Unload. Alright, so finishing off with Unload, uh, the lighting system was the same, except there were more, which I'll get to, with the spotlights in the back. Um, only this was changed before Load was. This was actually changed at the end of 2012. This is how it looks up until then, so 93 to the end of 12. In the end of 12, they added the, spotlight, or the LED in the front again. So same color pattern that goes through as load, same thing. But then we want to get into just some facts about this. So I find this very interesting, knowing my background with Christmas lights and everything. So here again, you can see where the seven, there were seven back then, that where they were housed. Uh, now I just want to get to how many there actually truly were. So we already have established that there were three for sure, possibly four, but again, there was no video of load ever being on other than the gear itself. And we so, looked really hard. Yeah, we spent probably two hours looking for it with <laughs> the day before we were recording this video. Um, anyways, pay attention to the red light here. I just wanted to include that screenshot. So note here that there are three to the side of red, and you already can see the one, and then you can also see two more to the side of red, and then just for fun, you can see the green fade in as it rotates. But, so we have three there, and two there, that's a total, plus the red one, which is a total of six lights that were in the back. And they constantly faded back and forth, so you get the same effect that you have today. But what's interesting about this, again, they decided to remove random ones. You can still see that this one, this one, this one were removed, and these three and fourth one, take note of that, are here. Although you can't see the fourth one because it's farther back, but you can still tell that's the green skip red blue and if we go back to the pictures here green skip red blue we do not know though what this last one is for we just wanted to point that out though 
So that concludes our video. Again, here's one more nice up close. But that concludes our video for all the pointless but major changes made the carousel progress. We do plan on doing a video soon of um, Easter egg changes. So these were something that we consider something that lasted only a few days, nothing nothing major, but things that were picked up in small videos. And well, one thing we want to stress now though is Easter egg does not equal malfunction. Uh, another thing I wanted to say quickly here is I may be streaming something for you on the 9th. Um, we have a surprise coming up on the 9th, so let's wait till that gets there. And yeah, anything else you want to say? Uh, yeah, excited for the 9th. Um, as always, the link to the club will be in the description. Um, and have a great, big, beautiful day. Very well. Thanks, you guys, for watching, and we really hope you join the club. It'll be in the description. You can continue the discussions there. If there's anything else major that we missed that you want to point out, let us know in the comments, but please be respectful. We have a lot of people that come to this channel that they praise us, but they do it in a snarky way. So we just, we, we, we spend a lot of time on these videos, and this this video alone, especially with the prep for this and the recording, took us over five hours to do with all of our research, naming the files, getting this presentation ready. It took us over combined five hours of work to do. So we, we spent a really long time on this video, and we really hope you guys can enjoy it. So again, yeah, a great big beautiful day. We'll see you guys later.